This is a late, mid-late 1960s French super compressor diver. This is a lip uh, nautic ski. Uh, the idea being that it was uh, for nautical stuff and also for skiing because the I guess the 68 Olympics or some Winter Olympics had just been sort of a big deal. Uh, this is a cool, <laughs> this is a pretty wacky watch. I wasn't aware that these even existed. Uh, a guy by the name of Andy Hurwitz turned me on to these, and I, I happened to find one in pretty amazing condition. Um, and I've got it here. I went through and I serviced it. It's it's pretty, they're wacky. It's just slightly below my sweet spot. But these are, these are a legitimately amazing vintage diver that not a whole lot of people know about. This one's original. You can see that the beautiful sort of tone tritium loom on there. Uh, this has an internally rotating bezel, which is pretty neat, operated by this top crown. And then the lower crown obviously is right here. Uh, this is the date movement, which is the R184 uh, with the date complication. It's an electronic watch. So it's a pre-quartz, it's a pre-quartz like electronic setup, so it's got um, it's it's a lot like that uh, that uh, Seiko uh, hybrid movement that I looked at a while ago. It's cool. Uh, I think the case is thirty six. Lugs are definitely eighteen. It's fairly thick. Uh, I have the back unscrewed here, so I can actually show you the movement. So hang on, just one second. This, I, I did service this. This is serviced. It's cool. These are these are really wacky. The movements are crazy. They're they're actually the 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 balances are triple roller. They have three um they have three roller jewels in there, which is crazy. Um and this has some really cool stuff. Like you see this little silver diddly right here? You can't see it, but it has two incredible incredibly fine wires that go in in towards the middle of the balance here and when the balance comes back in it hits those incredibly fine wires and pushes them and they make contact with this lever piece right here and that initiates the magnetic pulse that drives this thing and you can actually adjust that with that little lever right there so you can actually adjust this thing like a timing on a car like adjusting the distributor it's really nutty um nicely made movement uh, it took the servicing well. Uh, these are, I think these are 13 joules. Single transistor, look at it, one teeny tiny transistor. Pretty cool. Uh, it's got, whoops, it's got, uh, it's got a new case back seal. Uh, the crowns are not, as far as I can tell, they are not rebuildable. And I don't know of a replacement. Um, I've greased them. But I certainly would not treat this thing like a diver. It's the original crystal, but I've cleaned everything else. <laughs> it's a pretty cool watch. Anyway, there it is in all of its glory. And so it's got, I mean, the drive on this thing is just so nuts, though, the way the movement works, because it's got sort of a quasi pallet fork on one side. And then the way these electronics work is the balance actually drives the train. So it's got a quasi pallet fork on one side and then on the other side, it's got what would be considered the escape wheel, except this is kind of the reverse of the escape wheel. And it just sort of chugs along and it's actually, they're quite, it's quite accurate. It's just got that funky back and forth. That's what they look like. It does not have a date quick set. You have to roll it, rock it, rock it around the clock to, in order to get that where it is. Anyway, you want some bragging rights. There you go. It's pretty neat. Okay, thank you.